Good morning, everybody. It's great to be with you all here with a surf fishing update. It's Phil Friedman from Friedman Adventures. I want to get you in tune and get you ready for this St. Patrick's Day weekend surf fishing here in Southern California. Before we get started, I want to remind you all that we are proudly brought to you by Daiwa Rods and Reels. That's what I fish with in the surf. I love that Fuego 3000. In fact, you can see the real review that I did by looking through the Friedman Adventures YouTube channel. Check it out. It is priced perfectly. It functions so good. It's got that mag seal, so it keeps all the dirt and bad stuff from intruding into the reel. It's perfect. And of course, Big Fish Bait and Tackle in the beautiful city of Seal Beach. They are located right on the corner of Seal Beach Boulevard and Pacific Coast Highway. They are loaded up with all those Daiwa reels and they've got new Daiwa rods also. That's what I fish with here in the surf. I like a nine footer at least. That's what you want to fish with and I think you'll be just fine. All right, let's get into it. We've got a grunion run here on uh, Friday night, Sorry, starting on Friday night. That's the 18th. It's going to run through the 21st. Watch out, there's been some high surf. So if you're planning on coming down with the kids or something, keep that in mind, all right? I want you to be very, very careful. Some nights are just too dangerous to be doing it. But the significance of a grunion run, why is that important? Well, as all those tiny fish move onto the beaches of Baja in Southern California, and it's such a great phenomenon, and we're so blessed to have it here, because it's the only part of the world where you get to see that. Those fish come onto the beach, and guess what follows them? Predators, that's right. And I'm talking about you can fish at night and pick off some really nice big yellowfin croaker. I like to fish with uh, kind of a dropper loop rig. And of course you've got a supply of bait right there in front of you, live bait, as long as it's not closed season. Make sure you check that when you're going grunion hunting. There are closed seasons, observation only. And then there are open seasons when you're allowed to gather up a certain amount and those regs are changing. So I'll refer you to the Department of Fish and Wildlife. But those predators are gonna move up on the beach. And sometimes they start to move up on the beach a day or two early. And if you look out into the sea, sometimes you'll see pelicans really hitting the water uh, day before, a couple days before. I think that's those grunion mounting up, getting ready to come onto the beach. And those pelicans are exploiting that and hitting the water. And sometimes you'll see those pelicans get closer and closer and closer to the beach. And when they get right in there, man, you've got a very good chance, even before the grunion run, to catch a fish or two. So with the grunion moving in, I think you're going to see some improved halibut fishing in here. You're going to see some more yellowfin croaker starting to move into the beaches. Let's be serious about the Orange County area. It's been hit and miss, uh, and mostly miss. It's been pretty darn slow. Now, there's been some periods of some really nice catches, you know, down around Bolsa Chica, Anderson Street, down in that neck of the woods. We've seen some yellowfin croaker, a few spot fin croaker. We've seen an occasional halibut here and there, uh, some barred perch but it just lacks consistency. It's still winter time for God's sake, so we can't ask for too much. But when the grunions start to run, that's a sure sign that spring is here. And with warming water temperatures and all that life in the water, we've got a real chance. Also, I see a porpoise out here, or I should say dolphin out here feeding. So they're feeding on sometimes yellowfin croaker. And this is just another great sign. Now, the other thing, and the reason that the grunion come out of the beach is to lay their eggs. And something that feeds on those eggs later on are called sandworms. Sandworms inhabit this beachy area and they're endemic to California, so they're the perfect bait. Now they are a pain in the neck to dig up and find. They really are, but it really pays huge dividends if you spend the time and do it. They work better than any other type of worm, especially when you're looking for a spot pin croaker. They are such a superior bait and they work really, really well. So later on as the season goes, I will uh, do a demonstration on how to find your own sand worms and it's a great bait. It, it really, really, really will change things up for you. So once again, things are changing a little bit. Now talking to Martin Padilla, he was working the bays down there in the San Diego area, catching some short halibut down there. Dana Point area, that's been pretty good. Kayaking, fishing with Noel, he's got a YouTube channel. Noel said that's been his best area for halibut here recently. He's had like 10 fish. I think he said they were all short, maybe one legal. 
but still you know you get some action you get to catch some fish it's always a lot of fun down there in that area that looks pretty good the San Clemente area there's been some fairly decent barred perch fishing going on there in that neck of the woods and then as I say Orange County uh, kind of hit and miss some yellowfin croakers some spot fin croaker right on the verge of things happening and we've got that grunion run moving up now so that is really a very very good sign up there at the Palos Verdes area some of the guys on the rocks have been catching a few fish up there some perch and even some sheep's head and up there in the bay uh, El Segundo area a few nice big barred perch up there a few yellowfin croaker but again just kind of hit and miss we're going to wait just a little bit longer, maybe right now, Friday night, with that grunion run, things are going to start to really pick up. All right, big fish bait and tackle. They've got tons of bait down there, ghost shrimp. They've got lugworms. They've got all the tackle you need. And they've got those Daiwa Fuego 3000s, which I can't recommend enough for the surf. They really work well. And you can combine that with a nice nine-foot surf rod. I mean, you're going to get out of there about 200 bucks, and then walking down here on the beach, you know, not that costly. It's a great way during hard times to enjoy the great outdoors, get out and catch a fish, take the family out and enjoy some fun times. All right, I'll keep my eyes on it. Oh, oh, I, I did want to mention down there, Playa Saldamondo, friend of mine fish there, guy that lives in Tijuana, and he told me that they're catching those big barred perch in Playa Saldamondo, Baja. Now that is located just short of Ensenada. It's a great place. In fact, why don't I do this? I'll play a short little video that describes where Playa Saldamondo is and some of the fish that Martin Padilla and I caught on our last trip there. Mondo. Having a great time so far. Let's get the fish, baby. Let's hope. Let's get them. Here in Playa Saldamondo, just short of Ensenada, it is just such a lovely place to come. You can see these people are getting ready to have a barbecue a little bit later. They're actually watching a whole pot of dolphin jump out of the water. It looks like they're feeding offshore here. And Martine and I are gonna see if we can't catch a couple of fish, maybe some barb perch, maybe some calico bass. We'll let you know, here we go. All right, you're gonna throw a lucky craft? Lucky craft right here, flash minnow, 115, I believe. All right, cool. Boom. And, and we got a bunch of fresh bait, thanks to our buddies on the Freedom. We'll see how that works. Really fresh anchovy. It used to work really well on barred perch, so I'm thinking sardine will also. Hey, look at this. Big barred perch. Oh my God. Nice big barred perch on the Lucky Craft. Wow. That's a gorgeous fish. Man, Martin, that's awesome. Lucky crab, third, fourth, uh, um, you know, pet. Your third cast. Third cast, third cast, baby. Hey, dude, I'm getting bit. That is one beautiful big barred perch. Look at that, man, eating the lucky craft. Unbelievable. Hey, you can throw them up here. If you can get them all the way up, I'll, I'll sack them up for you. Another one, Martin. Got a little guy this time. So we've got all bases covered here. Martin continues to hammer out big fish on the Lucky Craft. I'm fishing fresh sardines, and now we've got some gentlemen joining us, and they are fishing chorros, mussels that they're getting off the rocks. This gentleman's gonna make a cast right now. And these guys, a lot of the locals are all showing up here on the high tide. This is one of my favorite little zones to fish and not well known for many, many, many people. So it's a great spot. All right, we'll see how it goes. Really fun fishing so far. Martin, that's a beautiful fish. Grab it, grab it. Woo! Nice one. That is so cool. Big barred perch biting in. We had a roll, 
and it's just starting to go now here on the outgoing tide. Really starting to pick up. Man, that's a nice fish, dude. You gotta work for it, man. Gotta work for it. On the rocks, gotta work for it. Beautiful. No easy fish here. Martin, it's so good to have you down here. First time fishing the beaches in Baja, and uh, this is one of my favorite little spots. What'd you think? Beautiful. Look at this place. It's just. Nice, empty, secluded, and not really many people know about it. And you wonder why it's so beautiful. First time right here, got some surf birds, about to go cook it up later. It's gonna be real, real good. All right, Martin, All right. Padilla. Nice job, man. Thank you, woo! Freedman Adventures can't recommend Playa Sal de Mondo enough for camping, fishing, for getting away from it all. It is absolutely wonderful. Hope you can get down south of the border just before you get to Ensenada and experience Playa Saldamondo really, really soon. It's fishing. We want some fresh fish. There's only one place to go in beautiful Rosarito Beach, and that is La Huerita. Let's check it out. Always fresh from here and great food. Visiting our friends at La Huerita and Rosarito Beach, was the perfect way to finish up our trip to Playa Saldamondo. And Martin not only got to catch those fish, he got to sample his delicious catch made by the folks at La Huerita. Always a lot of fun when we cross the border. Such great surf fishing down there in San Quintin, San Vincent. Well, the whole peninsula is loaded with great people, great food, and some really fun fishing. And Andrew Deal, my good friend Andrew and I will be headed down there on a weekend, I think two weeks from now, we'll be down there and we are going to go fish some beaches that I have never fished before and of course we're going to share that all with you so that you can make that trip across the border and catch some great fish. In fact, we've been talking a lot about putting together some tours where we take you down there in case you're a little worried about traveling to Mexico, uh, you don't know where to go, you don't speak Spanish. Um, you don't know where the really good restaurants are. I'm thinking we're going to put together a surf fishing type of tour where we take you down there and guide you through it and then you can go do it yourself after that. And if that sounds interesting to you, leave a note here on the YouTube channel so we can gauge the enthusiasm or lack of and make that happen for you. All right, there you got it. It's a beautiful day in Southern California. I'm going to quit blabbing away here and get out there and start trying to catch some fish i send you all my very very best drop by big fish bait and tackle in seal beach pick up a new dial rod and reel and hit the surf take care my friends